Hello, this is Marvel Buyer at Marvel Ridge Farms, and uh, I'm going to show you the cattle and sheep. There's a Duke coming to see me. He's our best guardian dog. He's really good. Hi, Duke. How you doing? He's happy to see people, but he knows what his job is. And uh, look at this over scenery. It's a lot of the crops around us are getting out of the ground. A lot of soybeans is gone and corn is starting to get picked and it's been really dusty and dry here. They have definitely good days for uh, doing crops, that's for sure. But I just wanna show you, here's a manure pie and man, look at that little pie in there it looks really well I think that's how it should look I'm no expert on it but every time I see a video of someone else doing that's how it should look like I just kind of want to see this is our cover crop so we're going to put our native plants in here we're going to put plant uh, warm and cool season grasses and legumes and forbs the whole mixture of plants so i'm really excited about that they ate quite a bit of this sorghum sedan i gave them a bigger area than normal because we're going to get frost and i want them to take it down to the ground for the most part so when we plant the cover crops in here or the native plants it's soil contact really good we had a lot of any warm season grasses. And you see like foxtail in here. Quite a bit of foxtail in here. We had them in here a couple days ago. There's some uh, pretty narrow grass and legumes growing in here. But I bet if we get some rain, look, we even got some hairy vetch in here still probably reseed it itself from the past couple years but look at this scenery we're supposed to get a chance to rain I'm really looking forward to it there's some you know sorghum sedan grass there looks like there's some uh, legumes cover crops and a few other things in here but it's definitely uh getting a uh, fall like weather now it's probably like high in the 50s lower 60s i think today even that's pretty nice out i would say but in a couple days, it's going to get real chilly compared to been supposed to be like high of, or low of 27, 28. So we're definitely going to get frost. Here's one of our cows. It seems like she always gets bred or her back right away. I think this year, the bulls bred her probably... Like she had a calf, and around 30 days later, and boom, she had a calf. I mean, 30, she had a calf, and 30 days later, she came in heat, and I haven't seen her come in heat in around 30 days. So she's always been a cow that would breed back real fast. This will be her third calf next year. We AI first two times and got bull calves out of her. Always really nice bull calves. Then uh, our other cows, they came back around, came in heat around 30 some days, but they didn't get bred the first time, but you know, that's pretty early for the most part. But I'm looking forward to these calves growing out. Here's our 
ewes. These are ewes and ewes lambs. These are, there's a bull right there, a bull calf and a, a bull calf. He was the one that's, mother that's always seemed to have a calf first. He was an AI bull, I'd say he looks pretty good. Here's a heifer. She always has good heifers, this cow does. As you tell these, that's another heifer there. Our animals are so wild. Here's our sheep. We bred them to some color last year and we're getting a new uh, once ram in a couple weeks. Can't wait to have him start breeding our sheep. Really high parasite resistant growth on them. So. Ewe lamb. Most of these were born in uh, May. There's one that was born in April the 20th. You can tell some of them really grow pretty fast compared to the others, but I think a couple of them were born later. Well, I hope everybody has a good day. Uh, talk to you later. If you like this, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.